Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Nano HD access point from Ubiquity Networks. There's been a lot of excitement around this access point, and I'm really stoked to get this thing unboxed. And we're not just gonna unbox it, we're gonna set it up with Unify. We're also going to compare this access point with the UAPAC Pro and the UAPAC HD. So let's start by opening this thing up and seeing what comes inside the box. Okay, so here we go. Once again, really nice packaging from Ubiquity. They have their roots in Apple, and that's where they get some of their ideas for packaging and how the equipment should be packaged. There we go. Okay, so there is the Nano HD. This is a nice small form factor access point. This Nano HD is $179 MSRP. However, on Amazon, you can get it for $160.99. Uh, inside the box, you have the little card that tells you how to adopt it, the um, QR code there. You have a metal bracket. This is typically used for mounting it on a drop ceiling. So this goes on the underside of the drop ceiling and then it screws in through like that. Then we have a power cord, a little bag of screws, and a PoE injector. Now this PoE injector is not 24 volt, this is a 48 volt PoE injector, gigabit, and it's a half an amp. So it's a 48 volt, 0.5 amp PoE injector that comes with this thing. Uh, the Nano HD is powered not by 24 volt passive like some of the other Ubiquiti access points, certainly like the UAP Lite, which is a very similar form factor. This is actually powered by 802.3 AF PoE. All right, let's get rid of the box. Simple enough, let me go ahead and plug this thing in so that I can get it adopted when we're ready. You can see that it has a nice little mounting plate on the back, of course this screws on the wall and then this you know, pops right onto the mounting plate. And then it has only a single gigabit ethernet port on the back. So all you have down here is a gigabit ethernet port and your little reset switch. So go ahead and plug this in. Again, 802.3 AF PoE, we should see it light up. There we go. So it's blinking white. As soon as it's solid white, that means that it is ready for adoption with the Unify SDN mobile app. That's how we're going to adopt it. Now, let's first though take a look at the difference between this U uh, Nano HD and the UAP AC Pro, because these are the ones that are, these sort of have the most overlap in terms of functionality, features and functionality. So Right off the bat, you can see that the Nano HD is significantly smaller than the UAP AC Pro. Um, it's also, eh, I guess, about the same thickness as opposed to like the UAP AC HD, which is quite a bit thicker and certainly quite a bit bigger. The UAP AC HD is also bigger than even the UAP AC Pro. This is a beast of a, <laughs> of a device here. All right, so let me line these up now. Where would you want to use a Nano HD versus a UAP AC Pro versus a UAP AC HD? So let's go through the stats on these things first and foremost. So let's start by talking about pricing. The Nano HD has an MSRP of $179. The UAP AC Pro has an MSRP of $149, so $30 more expensive for the Nano. And then the UAP AC HD has a, an MSRP of $349. Now, MSRP, of course, we don't always pay MSRP. So what's the actual pricing that you can get these from Amazon as of today, uh, November 8th? The Nano HD is on Amazon for $160.99. There are two flavors of UAP AC Pro on Amazon. One of them has the PoE injector included. That is $136.18. The other one does not have the PoE injector and that is $125.90. And then the UAP ACHD is $286.09. As far as the antennas go, all three of these are dual band, both 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz capable. The Nano HD and the UAP ACHD are 4x4 multi-user MIMO in the 5 gigahertz range. The UAP AC Pro is 3x3 MIMO, so not multi-user MIMO, just 3x3 MIMO uh, in the 5 gigahertz range. That makes the 5 gigahertz throughput of these devices 1,733 megabits per second, 
theoretically with the Nano HD as well as the UAP ACHD, and it makes the 5 gigahertz throughput 1300 megabits per second with the UAP AC Pro. Keep in mind, however, that this only has a single gigabit port in the back, right? These two both have dual gigabit, okay? So dual gigabit here and dual gigabit here on the HD. Um, now you guys can refresh my memory. I'm not exactly sure if these can be aggregated or not, but I don't see how you would be able to pull 1733 megabits of total throughput on a device like the Nano HD when it only has a single gigabit ethernet connector. Uh, unless you're just talking about wireless devices that are chatting with each other. And keep in mind also that these throughput measurements are not the amount of throughput that you would get for a single client that is connecting to this device. That's the amount of throughput for the multi-user MIMO where each client is not gonna get 1700 megabits or even anywhere close to that. Uh, but as an aggregate, if you had say 200 clients connecting, uh, that would be where you would see more and more throughput being used out of this device. For the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, the Nano HD is 300 megabits per second of total throughput. The UAP AC Pro is 450 megabits of total throughput. And the UAP AC HD is 800 megabits of total throughput. Again, that's 2.4 gigahertz. When we talk about concurrent users and what these are rated for in terms of concurrent users, the Nano HD is rated for 200 plus concurrent users, as is the UAP AC Pro. The UAP AC HD is rated for 500 plus concurrent users. I feel like I'm playing a shell game here. Okay, for power over ethernet, how are we powering these devices? So the Nano HD is powered by 802.3 AF PoE. The UAP AC Pro is powered by either UAP uh, 802.3 AF or AT PoE, and the UAP AC HD is powered only by 802.3 AT PoE. As far as environmental uses, the Nano HD is strictly an indoor access point, whereas both of these are rated for indoor and outdoor. So again, where do we use the Nano HD instead of the UAP AC Pro, which is sort of my go-to access point uh, previously? So that's a question that I've thought about a lot when I was researching the Nano HD. Where would I actually use this device in lieu of the UAP AC Pro? So it's easy enough to see where there's no overlap with the HD, right? So the HD is not really in the same pricing category and the HD is for 500 plus users. So think about um, a deployment such as a church or a school, right? Where you've got some areas that are going to be just general usage, office areas, classrooms, etc., And then you've got other areas of that same deployment where you might have a lot of people congregating. So again, in a church or in like the auditorium of a school, when we do deployments like that, we would typically use UAP AC Pros all throughout the office areas. Plenty of power, totally sufficient for an office environment. And then for those areas where a lot of people congregate, we would then supplement those with UAP AC HDs, which can handle the higher capacity of users. So again, 500 plus concurrent users on this thing. In a scenario like that, you could basically use the Nano HD interchangeably with the UAP AC Pro. They're going to provide about the same amount of performance for you. In fact, I would defy anyone to be able to set these up in an environment where they can't be almost a perfect replacement for each other in any given scenario where either of these are gonna work. So then why spend the extra money for the Nano HD? And also, if you're just a home user, certainly either one of these is gonna work because they both have 200 plus concurrent user capacity and they have about the same throughput. So as a home user, you're never gonna really even max out the UAP AC Pro. You might say, well, Chris, but the Nano has four by four multi-user MIMO. Okay, fine, but for a home user, you're not gonna see that difference. Maybe you could make the case that you would see that difference in a crowded office environment, but for the most part, they're pretty interchangeable. The difference to me comes in the Nano HD accessories. So they have put a lot of work and a lot of thought into what add-ons would you want to put on this thing? So there's three major add-ons that these came with. Number one, 
they have a bracket for the Nano HD that fits onto the bracket for the UAP AC Pro. It's like a converter bracket. Or in other words, if you have a bunch of UAP AC Pros that are three by three MIMO, and maybe you are maxing them out, they have a bracket that fits with this guy that then can convert your existing UAP AC Pro wall mounts into Nano HD wall mounts, okay? So it's a really easy upgrade path from the UAP AC Pro to the Nano HD. That's kind of cool, but not a lot of people are going to be able to take advantage of that. The other option, however, is that they have a Nano HD low profile mount, okay? So this is something that uh, I don't know if it's out yet. It is on the website, but basically it's a recessed bracket so that uh, instead of just a regular wall mount bracket, it sort of recesses this thing up into a drop ceiling, right? So then you've got a very, very low profile that's actually sticking out of the ceiling, and it makes this thing a lot less obtrusive than this, uh, than the, you know, than the standard UAP AC Pro. That's for if you're gonna ceiling mount it. The final accessory that's pretty exciting are the skins. So they now have a bunch of different colors, wood grain and marble and black and camouflage that you can put onto this device and change the look of it. So that's really cool. So if you have an area like a movie theater, for instance, where you don't want a shiny white uh, you know, access point sitting on the wall, well then you can get the black skin for this and sort of let it blend into the background. Or if you run a restaurant and you have a lot of wood grain, you can put the wood grain skin on this and then it will blend in with the background. So that's pretty cool and that is probably the most compelling reason to use the Nano HD other than the 4x4 multi-user MIMO. Uh, you know, if you're, if you are doing a brand new deployment, and you have a decent amount of users that are gonna be connecting to this thing, I would probably opt for the Nano HD just because of the smaller form factor, the 4x4 multi-user MIMO, and then the option of camouflaging this into the background if you want to. So that's pretty cool. I will do a separate video on the Nano HD skins once I am actually allowed to talk about them, uh, hopefully sometime pretty soon. Okay, so this thing is now solid white. It is ready for adoption. So I'm gonna pull out my phone and we're gonna go ahead and adopt this device to my Unify controller. Okay, so here I am in the controller. We can see that the device has been found. It received an IP address of 192.168.200.157. Now, if I click on it, I can actually set this up as a standalone device. Uh, however, we're not actually gonna set it up as a standalone device. So if I say configure, configure as standalone. We don't wanna do that. We wanna actually connect it to Unify. So I'm gonna go back to my controllers. We're gonna select my Crosstalk Unify controller. And then we have our default site. Now you see a lot of devices offline here. This is because this is sort of the site that I use for equipment that I'm testing, stuff that may or may not actually currently be offline or online. And if I click into devices, we can see right here that the AP Nano HD is pending adoption. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then if I scroll down towards the bottom, we see this button that says adopt. So I'm just gonna say adopt. And almost immediately we should see this light turn blue as it says adopting. There we go. So the light just turned blue on the Nano HD. That took about maybe 10 seconds. And uh, now it is in adopting status. Now we're provisioning and now it's connected. So that took maybe about one minute, if even that. So it's super fast. I love the new adoption with the Unify SDN app. It works really, really well. And the first thing that you're gonna wanna do when you do adopt it to your controller is scroll down to the bottom and then hit the upgrade button. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this. Uh, the current firmware version that I'm upgrading to is 3.9.42.9152. So we're gonna go ahead and run that upgrade and now we should see status upgrading. Once it's done upgrading, this thing is ready to rock and roll. Okay, so I'd love to hear from you guys about this. Where would you use the Nano HD in lieu of the UAP AC Pro? Are there other things that I didn't think of? Put those down in the comments below. If you guys would like to see a video on the Nano HD skins, also put that into the comments below. And um, yeah, that's about it. This is a cool little access point. I think we're gonna start deploying these in lieu of the UAPAC Pro, again, mostly just due to that 4x4 multi-user MIMO. 
One thing you guys also might be noticing here is that I'm not actually testing this device. We're gonna be doing a video that's gonna do more comprehensive testing of this access point versus some other competing access points in the very near future, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so that about does it for the Ubiquiti Nano HD. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.